generally speaking, as someone who liked science, went into chemistry and found themselves in insurance, was it just, you know, luck of the draw through that, that program or what, what about insurance kind of resonated with you and made you not think it was super boring? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I don't know. I think it was just following where the opportunities were within sales and then realizing that what I had learned throughout school was super beneficial to my current role. Does that make sense? Like hindsight was, oh, I learned a lot about processes through chemistry and how to problem solve and then improve. And then in my current role where I was creating sales processes for the leads that would come in to try and sell them, um, it was really beneficial in trying to create more efficient processes for people so that they could understand how to go from A to B within the sales process. Yeah, well, that's a good point. And kind of with the benefit of hindsight, you can say, oh, this all makes sense. But of course, when you're in it, right. and Vlad kind of spoke to this in a previous episode, but it's like, yeah, when you look now, it's like, this all makes perfect sense. Obviously, I studied chemistry to learn processes to get me to enter it. Of but- course, I knew what I was doing through <laughs> all this. <laughs> But when when you're going through it, you were basically like, okay, I need to pivot a little bit. Let's try sales. And this random sales internship, they put me in insurance. And then you're just kind of using what you have to get that next job. And correct me if I'm wrong, but when you went into that first job, you were looking for something that was, you know, kind of a good entry level position, probably a decent amount of salary versus commission and kind of with the ability to grow into a, a stable money earning producing position so when you when you graduated school and took the job did you see what you're doing now as like kind of in the future or did you learn that as you went along or like how did that look it it was very long-term thinking i mean when you look at some of these insurance professionals and you see the life that they live in their 40s and 50s and 60s it's very relaxed they make a good bit of money They're happy with their work-life balance. And I mean, that's what I'm looking for as I get older, but I'm willing to work hard when I'm younger. And I know that they put their time in when they were young. And then once they got that momentum going within their career, they just maintained it over time. And so early success within insurance doesn't really happen, right? You can get some momentum, but you're not going to hit your peak within the first five years. It's something that scales over time as you continue to put effort in. And so that's something that I was just looking forward forward to about the industry itself, right? Just consistency and and, and being able to grow. Yeah, no, that's that's a good point. You said work-life balance was kind of something that struck you back as a sophomore and that's what you're looking for when you came out of school saw this as a blueprint and it made sense that's yeah that's I, I think that's important I think a lot of people come out of school with you know one direction is I've got all this time to work hard I want to leave my mark and I'm excited come out of school I've got all this knowledge and then on the other hand it's like well I'm 22 I want a good work-life balance I'm young I want to have fun so yeah and then of course you know James is talking about balance and here I am with all the time in the world and James is juggling a, a wife and a kid so different d- different priorities for everyone right but it's nice to have the flexibility that goes along with that work-life balance to choose what you want to do right everybody's needs are different this is true and yeah figuring out what you wanted was early was important to you and seems to have put you in a good position now so mm-hmm. yeah 